As a kid, I always dreamt of flying cars. I wanted one, and I think my 15-year-old dreams are coming true. Bit of a disappointing end that the race couldn't go ahead on its specified day. This team's been given the, the mandate to fly, to fly hard, to crash, and to rebuild things really, really fast. Practice is everything. It is physically and mentally demanding. Oh, hell, mate. My style of flying is pretty aggressive really pushing them to the limit. Overtaking any left, my man. This first race is a huge deal for us. It's head-to-head -head racing. Nothing like this has ever been done before. The world is in the middle of a historical mobility shift towards a future of urban air mobility. The role of airspeeder pilots is the same as the first pioneers in any mobility revolution. They need that adventurous, yet professional test pilot who can push the technology to the limit where humans and technology explore the frontier of what's possible. They are the ones that have to execute. They are the individuals um, who we hand the aircraft to and they're the ones that have to get out there and go and deliver. So they're the face of the brand and the series. So it's on their shoulders that results will occur. Without them, there is no racing series. The aircraft don't get off the ground. Pilots are critical for this sport to make it a reality. They are the future. To bring on a team of pilots, that's a huge step forward for Airspeeder. Exo Series stands for External Aviator Series. From the pilot's perspective, it prepares these pioneers of the historical mobility revolution for crewed racing provides a safe space for training and competition while developing the systems and procedures for that crewed race and allows the pilots to be involved and give direct feedback. I think the relationship between EXA and Airspeeder, if I think about the pilots, this is their proving ground, they're sort of they're training, they're learning, they're competing uh, in readiness for a crewed Airspeeder. Airspeeder's pilots come from vastly different backgrounds. From cinematic aerial content creators to FPV racing drone pilots and high-level motorsport champions. Zef comes from a drone racing background at the highest level and represents drone racers who are aiming to prove that they can be the fastest EXA and Airspeeder pilots. Fabio is a content creator and an aerial videographer, representing content creators and influencers looking to prove that engaging personalities and a large following of fans will also be important in this future sport. Lexi represents female drone racers and content creators who are aiming to prove that girls can do anything they aspire to. Bruno has a motorsport background at the highest level. He represents the drivers out there in motorsport looking to prove that their driving skills transfer into the air. When a new pilot joins Airspeeder, the first thing we need to do is be able to assess their abilities. To do that, we get them flying on a surrogate test article um, or STA. They might then move on to a simulator that's been developed by our engineering team. This simulator has been correlated using real-world physics and uh, performance data from the Mark III to closely align its performance characteristic with the real-world vehicle. Fly the vehicle in a simulated environment well before they actually get their hands on the real aircraft. What's the vibe amongst the pilots heading towards race day? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I mean, we do talk about it, the other pilots, a little bit, um, but for myself, I sort of keep a, quite a closed guard. Stepping into a race environment where so many other factors take over, communication becomes more important, and also strategy. The most exciting thing about racing, um, it's a completely different ball game and ultimately what I'm in for. Each of the pilots have strong personalities and a competitive mindset, seeing them occasionally fighting for flight time. This gets amplified by the early starts and tough conditions of the remote locations for testing, and patience can be tested. This is parallels with the very early days of motorsport, with limited racetracks, resources and testing locations, with the drivers doing whatever they could 
to get in a drive. Once the pilots have flying on the STA and on the Mark III in the simulator, we will then take them out to the flight test area where they will begin a flight test program on the Mark III, all under observation by our senior remote pilot. It's a beautiful day and the team's ready. We've set up the vehicle. This is quite a step up from what I've flown before, so a little bit nervous, but I really just have to be in the moment uh, when I'm flying this thing. Oh, that's good cool for takeoff. In a moment, racing is pretty hardcore and there's a lot of excitement and hopefully they're ready to deal with that pressure because if not, I'm pouncing and I'm going to get there.